original and supernal immanence of which all nature's process in the earth. The cosmic worker set his secret hand to turn this frail mud engine to human use. Can a sculpted image grow? A sculpted image can it grow? Is it not stone frozen? But it does grow. In the hands of an inspired sculptor, it does grow with every chisel stroke. It grows and grows till it shines, till it glows, till in it he is seeing the image of the coming God, the God who had been waiting to enter into it. Indeed, it is a divine creatrix who conceived herself in him, who conceived herself in the sculptor. Supernature takes charge of him and he is now shaped by her, by supernature, by pra prakriti, the transcendental nature. She, in her moods of joy and the moods of new expression, shaping him, shaping the image. She has taken charge of his actions, his feelings and his thoughts. She has taken charge of everything. She will look after his happiness and his hopes and expectations. At once, he becomes immense, immense in twofold ways. He has experience of the all-pervasive reality as a substratum for the entire creation. He has the realization of the passive Brahman, of the silent Brahman, of the inactive Brahman, the quiescent Brahman. He has the living identity in a dynamic way with all that is in it, in that creation, with the countless beings breathing in the possibilities of the spirit, the realization or the active Brahman. He has the twofold experience of the passive Brahman and the active Brahman. Active Brahman, the swift and vigorous busy power, is night and day working in him. He living in the moment for the eternal. It must become an assertion of the real idea in life. That it becomes an assertion of the real idea in life. That to happen, there has to be a long preparation. It could be a preparation running through all vicissitudes and uncertainties that haunt the world this small, miserable world, haunted by uncertainties, running ceaselessly through many lives, going on and on, life after wearing life. That is the long preparation stretched over ages and ages. A point is raised, a stage is raised, when a decisive breakthrough can occur. There are the shining prospects of supernature, of paraprakriti, working in the aspirant and in the ready soul. He has entered into the infinity of God. He has entered into the, in, into the infinity of God everywhere. In the individual, he is 
quenchless little spark in him he is eternal portion of the divine he is amsh sanatana in the secret house of the mortal he is the immortal in the mortal in the cosmic poise he is the immanent close the cosmos intimate with the cosmos pervading the entire cosmos close to the world it is because of this immanence because of this universal presence of him that the universal nature functions she can function because of his immanence she executes only because of his will because of his sanction without his will and his sanction she cannot function she cannot execute she waits for his will and his sanction to carry out her work it is because of being as the supernal immanence that the cosmic nature functions she is a cosmic worker doing his work doing what he wants her to do what the being wants or wills that the cosmic nature works out she works out for heaven use that is her concern to put everything into the use of heaven to bring the qualities of heaven into the work she does his work for this purpose to put everything into an operational aspect of heaven use she is the transmuting agent in the cosmic process that the transmuting agent who shall change transform the unformed mud into something golden beautiful acceptable she is the transmuting agent in the cosmic process that the unformed mud becomes gold and heavenly this change has now taken place in ashwapati